My talk is uh, Searching and Communicating with Extraterrestrial Intelligent Civilizations. This is um, going to be a scientific experimental endeavor that has evolved at different stages in the last 25 years of my research. And the foundation of this is based on a wide spectrum of reality. Uh, we have a, a group called SETI Kingsland, that's the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. And we're a small team of scientists with different disciplines in astronomy, language interpretation, communications and sociocultural interactions, ETI communications and instrumentation. The current search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, as it's well known, in our galaxy is based on the premise that there are thousands of civilizations. Any advanced ETI civilization beyond our level would likely be expanding out from their star systems. This means that these star-faring cultures may be using faster-than-light travel and their communications may be using faster-than-light methods. They may have arrived here already in the form of UFOs for us to be acclimatized in their presence. This may be part of a preparation for us to make direct contact with them. It may mean we have to develop the technologies that are similar to their communication systems. And this would make sense as a catalyst for our next step in our evolution within the cosmos. But first we have to explore the nature of the manifestation of UFOs as an extraterrestrial intelligence. We need to develop models that can verify or refute this. For example, is it true that some UFOs witnessed around the Earth for the past 140 years appear to be of an extraterrestrial nature? Can past witness sightings show any patterns that may provide a model for UFOs? If we have UFO patterns around the Earth, would this fit some model for the presence of another ETI civilization in our vicinity? If our model of an ETI presence is not only around the Earth, but it may be in our solar system and beyond. By studying their presence, we can extrapolate enough information to develop the right technology to communicate with them. The form of communication may be possibly in the quantum entanglement on, or non-local effects area, that is, widely separated systems that appear independent but in effect are connected with each other. Uh, this usually applies to biological systems which are greatly superior to empirical methods currently used by SETI researchers. SETI monitors radio frequency bands for possible extraterrestrial communications. Radio waves travel at the speed of light, making this form of communications for macroscopic distances unlikely for advanced extraterrestrial civilizations. I would like to share with you in this talk a new approach to this goal with the development of new tools for this task. It's a radical approach in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence as compared to conventional SETI. We have to question, do we have the reality to experience another reality? I will be showing the development of a new scientific method and tools of detecting and communicating with extraterrestrial intelligence. Do we have the technology to instantly receive and transmit to ETIs? The principle of faster than light communications is a method of achieving this goal. This fundamental new approach to SETI does not require huge dishes and arrays as we are not constrained by the distance of the speed of light within the electromagnetic spectrum. Faster than light communications gets over that barrier. It does not matter where extraterrestrial intelligence is located or what evolutionary stage in their development in our galaxy or beyond. We will expect an advanced civilization beyond ours However, it does require an awakened human with a level of resonance within a wide spectrum of reality that will resonate with appropriate extraterrestrials. It requires an altruistic approach to others with a true gratitude and peace. This is no surprise as studies have shown that as a society evolves, it becomes more stable. Any hidden agendas by Earth-based human teams would be aborted in their communications to an ETI team. It requires both an experiential approach to the intention of contact and its outcome. It means new tools both in the experiential methodologies and instrumentation for success. This provides the opportunity to attempt 
contact with extraterrestrial civilizations that operate normal faster than the speed of light in both traveling and communications. It creates potential two-way communications just like text messaging. I believe ETIs are awaiting our communications and they are there to support those who want to develop the communication technologies.